You can remove the pattern from background and use color instead. Just click on the eye icon to hide pattern. Background cover has similar texture to the main cover for more realism. To change the color, double click on the color icon. Pick color you want with eyedropper tool. You can also change texture for the background. Double click on the bevel and emboss ports. Under Texture tab, click Settings icon and select any of the pattern packs. Try out those paper textures if you want. Play around with scale and depth settings. Now let's apply another pattern for the background. If you didn't do it before for the cover, add patterns to use within Photoshop. Drag first one to the Photoshop icon to open it in new window. Select and drag all patterns to that new window. Let's save them all one by one. Go to Edit Define Pattern. Now when you will open pattern overlay window, all patterns will be there. Choose the one you like. You can remove monthly tabs altogether or change their color. To change color of the tab, double-click on the rounded rectangle icon for needed month. Choose desired color with eyedropper tool or in the color palette window. Repeat the process for other tabs. To change text color, hold and command click on the monthly text layers. Go to character window and click on the color icon. Pick your color.
Now let's redesign the first page. You can remove pattern by clicking on the eye icon. And you can change pattern. Double click on the first page layer and go to Pattern Overlay. Choose the one you like. Use Opacity slider to make it brighter or more transparent. Next, let's add text to the note under paper clip. Click on the text layer, choose text tool T and click on the text to change it. Change text color. You can change color and shape of link icons. To change their color, double click on the layer, choose color overlay. To change shape, double-click on the small square at the right bottom of the image preview. Go back to the cover window and choose the element you want. Drag it to the window with the shapes. Press Command plus T to rotate and manipulate the size. Place it on top of the flower shape. Since my elements are on two separate layers, I need to combine them. With layers selected, press Command plus Y. Yeah. Duplicate new shape by holding Alt and dragging with Move tool. Initial flower shape serves as a reference on where to place your new icon. Now select first shape layer and hold and shift select the last layer. Press Delete on the keyboard. Command plus S to save your update. Go back to the main window. You can modify color of the icons if needed. There is another way to add shape that goes with Photoshop. Hide link icons layer and create new one. Select custom shape tool or ellipse or rectangle if you want to add simple circle or square. There is a bunch of built-in Photoshop shapes. Select all to explore them. When you find the one you want, select it and drag holding shift. To modify the shape, Choose Shape tool again. 
in the upper menu you will see fill option and stroke option. You can make shape filled with color or just to be an outline. When you're happy with it, copy, holding Alt and dragging. To change text, select text player, choose text tool T and type. You can change the text color as well. To quickly select the text you want with move tool selected, Hold Alt and click on the text. To change text color for all links at once, select them holding Shift. To add more quick links, duplicate the last text layer and type your text. Change logo color to fit the new design. To resize and rotate the paper clip, press Command plus T. Press Enter when you are done. Download more paper clips for free at digitallywild.com. Go to the library. You will find a lot of useful stuff there. To download paper clips and other freebies, Enter your email address and name. You will see the password that you need to use to enter Freebies library. Type it in the form and click the Download button on Image to download Freebies. folder with paper clips. Drag and drop paper clip in the working Photoshop file. Hide previous paper clip and use common plus T to position the new one. Save your design to use in Keynote. Go to File, Save as. Choose JPEG from drop-down menu and press OK.